Israel has two famous lakes, the Dead Sea and the Sea of Galilee. The Dead Sea is a lake with very high salt content, as high as 35%, which is almost 10 times the normal ocean water. Such a high level of salinity not only means that a human body can float on the surface of the water, but also that there is no life at all in this lake. No fish, no vegetation, no sea animals, nothing lives in this lake and that's how it gets its name, the Dead Sea. Just to the north of the Dead Sea is the Sea of Galilee. Yet, completely unlike the Dead Sea, the Sea of Galilee is pretty, resplendent with abundant, colourful marine life, lots of plants, lots of fish. In fact, the Sea of Galilee is home to over 20 different types of fishes. And guess what? Both the lakes are in the same region and both receive water from the very same source, the River Jordan. Yet, while one is full of life, the other is dead. The question obviously is, how? Not sure how technically correct this is, but some say the reason is because the River Jordan flows into the Sea of Galilee and then flows out. The water simply passes through the Sea of Galilee, in and then out, and that keeps the lake healthy and vibrant, teeming with marine life. But the Dead Sea, being far below the mean sea level, has no outlet. The water flows in from the River Jordan, but does not flow out. And since there are no outlet streams, it is estimated that over a million tons of water evaporate from the Dead Sea every day, leaving it salty and too full of minerals and thus unfit for any marine life. Isn't life very similar? Like the two lakes receive water from the River Jordan, we may also be fortunate enough to receive resources, knowledge, love, respect from others. But if we do not learn to share what we have received, we may end up like the Dead Sea. The love, the respect, the resources, the knowledge could all evaporate. But if like the Sea of Galilee, we share what we have, we will be full of life and joy, ready to receive more and share more and live in a space of abundance.